Welcome to the second stop on the road to Brith Dennis. You've already been around the Tower of Voices, but this time around, it's the turn of the Iowa, the Dark Elves, and also the Cadarn, our ranged and magic dudes. They've both got a kind of combat-y flavour, so expect to get your hands bloody. If you've played the Elf series, you'll know about the Iowa. They're the Dark Elves, and they were your enemy throughout much of those quests. But by Plague's End, they will learn to live in harmony with the other Elf clans. And so they're in the city, and they are the Slayer and Melee Focus. And the first character you'll meet of them is Morvran, the Slayer Master. Morvran is our level 85 Slayer Master. His list of Slayer creatures is similar to Kyrodel's, but the shoddier creatures have been removed. Uh, this is from player feedback. Thanks to you, Fire Giants, Aberrant Spectres and others are gone, while we've added Celestial Dragons, Glacors and Kalgarian Demons, to name a few. Morvan likes to give the better Slayer targets more often and in increased number. You can also prefer targets to make them more likely and pay Slayer points to prolong the juicy task. In the design document we talked about a Slayer challenge. Uh, there's a chance it will be delayed for release with the Elf spells and prayers, but we're currently looking good for launch. But if you don't know what the Slayer challenge is, it's a gauntlet of several different boss monsters. You have to kill each boss while having your inventory space reduced and different debuffs applied. Next is something that's definitely in for launch. Once per week, Morvan will allow you to go downstairs to a weekly D&D we're calling Rush of Blood. This is an arena where you'll face waves of increasingly difficult to fight monsters. We then reward you for the number of waves you manage to take down. We've gone for a look that's gladiator mixed with Fight Club to give it a blood sports feel. Back on the surface you'll find the rather tough but rewarding Iowerth Warriors. They'll be dropping crystal weaponry. You won't be able to make crystal weapons with the first batch of the city, but you will be able to wield them, and my favourite's the Crystal Chakram. You'll also find the Pickpocketing Elves. We're sneakily changing how pickpocketing works in the city. Here you'll fail far less often, which should be less infuriating, but you'll be forced to pickpocket in another section of the city if you get caught. Pickpocketing rewards will be bulked up, making the Elves' goodie bags full of stuff. If you thought the Elf City was exclusive, then you're in for a surprise with the Cadarn. This is the home of the Max Guild, and to even get into the garden, you need a 99 in a skill or a quest cape. At the Max Guild, you'll be able to raise a number of flags to show off your achievements. You can also access a skill portal, which will teleport you to some hard to reach skilling areas like the high level rune span. Now, if you're fancy enough to have 99s in all skills, then you can get into the Max Guild itself. We'll give you a crystal acorn as a form of congratulation, but more importantly, you'll get a dedicated hub to yourselves. This has a grand exchange, a permanent bonfire, and a challenge quartermaster. It also has two new additions. There's a boss portal, which will take to some of the best boss areas without any of the faff, and there'll be a throne. This throne can be sat on by completionists and only one at a time. Now, if you're a trimmed comper, there's also an additional animation to make you stand out from the crowd. Outside of the Max Guild, the Cadarn have a few tricks in their quivers. You'll be able to recharge your Dragonstone jewellery at the fountain and purchase a number of battle staves from the Battlestaff shop. In here, you'll also be able to swap your spellbook and temporarily increase your magic and ranging levels. And there will be plenty of magic and ranged elves to fight and skillers to pickpocket. There you have it, we're barely halfway through the first batch of the Elf City. In two weeks' time, you expect the Cruis and Traherne, masters of woodcutting, farming, mining and smithing. So keep levelling up and don't you dare stray from the road to Prifthinus.